Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I have not had such a happy Monday so far. I've had a pretty stressful few hours. Very short rundown. Got ready for the morning. Liam left for work, which means usually I go into my office and I start my work day. Sat down, computer wasn't working. <laughs> Tried literally everything. Watched so many YouTube videos, Googled so many things, and basically just came to the conclusion that my computer is completely dead, which is fair enough because I have had that laptop for quite a few years now. I've had it since I lived in the squad house, since I was in uni, and I literally use it every day. And I do video editing every day, and that's a pretty like heavy usage on a laptop. So look, I knew it was gonna come at some point. You just never expect it. You know, the day that it happens, you're like, oh, like I really wasn't prepared for this. Luckily, I have all of the important things I need like backed up. There was nothing really important that was just like sitting on the computer. But it is just a really frustrating situation, especially because it is two weeks before Christmas, which means computers are just sold out like everywhere. So after the whole debacle of trying to get my computer to work for like an hour and a half, I accepted my fate and then started researching what sort of computer I wanted to purchase instead because obviously there's so many options and I did end up finding one. At first it was saying that I wasn't gonna be able to pick one up until January and I was like, I have work, like I can't not have a computer, but I ended up finding one and so I'm collecting that later today, I don't know when. I did like click and click, so they're just gonna text me when it's ready to pick up. But now I just don't know what to do with myself because that really threw out all of my plans for today. And I'm really sad because I had like half of the weekly vlog edited and it was like such a, from last week, and it was such a long video to edit and I spent like all weekend editing it and it's gone. <sighs> And I don't know if I'll even have time to edit one today because it just takes a long time. And I obviously have to like set up the computer. I understand that it is very much first world problems and I don't want to sit here and complain, but it is just like, <laughs> just such a frustrating and stressful situation when your job is needing a computer and you don't have one that works and you have deadlines. Anyways, I'm excited to have a new computer. That is like such an exciting thing. <laughs> I guess that'll be my Christmas gift to myself because she's expensive. <music> Post office, check. Pick up laptop, check. Grocery shop, check. Nice work team. I feel like when something stressful or like frustrating or just like bad <laughs> happens at the start of your day, it can really like throw off your day and I'm gonna try really hard to not let this throw off my whole day. In the grand scheme of things, it's not even 10 a.m. yet. So I still do have my whole day ahead of me. I can set up my laptop. If my vlog doesn't go up today, that is okay. I've had a productive morning, even if it's not the way I thought it was gonna go. So we're just gonna take them all as wins. I'll open these with you guys in a sec. Didn't have to grab too many groceries today, so I'm gonna quickly put these away. Let's see what we have here. Obviously it's from Stacks. Rachel, enjoy these pieces from our latest drop. So these ones are already live. And we just have one piece in here. And we have one of their new one pieces, like unitard type of vibe. I'm not sure if I can rock this. It has a zip at the front. They come in a bunch of different colors. I think they look so good on some people, but I just don't know if that's my vibe. So that's why I only got one, because I was just a bit like, I'm really excited about this one. This one is from Beginning Boutique and I don't know if I've ever had anything from Beginning Boutique. Maybe I have, I don't remember. Cute little bag. Okay, oh. I did pick these out but I kind of forgot about it because it was a while ago. Let me just turn you guys around so you can have a better view. We have this beautiful yellow summer dress. That's the pattern. So stunning. They also gave me a code to share with you guys, so I'll have that on the screen if you want to use it. Obviously, you don't have to. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Stop. This one needs an iron, but all of this kind of like ruches up. And it's just this beautiful baby blue, baby doll dress, which is my favorite style. This is what it's supposed to look like at the front. Have all these like pleats almost. This would be such a cute little Christmassy dress. How stunning. So beautiful. Holt's neck, backless, stunning. A white maxi bodycon dress. It's this beautiful thick material as well. Kind of ribbed. I do wish the straps were adjustable though, because that is always difficult. Love. Oh my gosh. This one's very short, so keep that in mind. But this beautiful little strapless 
white moment and it's like kind of backless. It has these beautiful straps. I didn't realize that I got old dresses and I will be living in these this summer. So thank you so much Beginning Boutique for gifting me these. I'm so excited. Now it's time to set this up. I just feel so new. It's now 2 p.m. This day is going so fast. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling quite anxious. So we are going to help ourselves out a bit, use our tools that we have learnt so that I don't feel more anxious. Starting off, I'm going to make a sandwich because so I realized I haven't eaten lunch. And I also drank another coffee, which was so stupid, but I was so tired. So I was like, oh, I'll have a coffee. It makes me more anxious. Obviously, Rachel. Oh. It's just one of those days, and that's okay. We're just gonna do our best. Since I last spoke to you, I have just been editing, trying to re-edit the vlog that I had edited on my old computer. And it's going well, honestly, like it's fine. I've gotten a lot done, but I don't think I'm gonna finish it today. So that's like adding to my stress. And then I also had to do another like thing for work that I find really stressful. So I think that added. And then I also got a phone call about a tax thing that is also <laughs> really stressful to me. So I think it's just the combination of all things today has made me a little stressed, but that's okay. That makes sense. At least I know like what's triggering my feelings. And we are now going to take a bit of a break from my computer and from work. And I honestly do love my job so much, but I think with any job, there's going to be parts that like stress you out and that are a little bit more difficult. And today it's just like five of those things have happened at once. So it's understandable that I may not be having as good of a day. <sighs> Obviously everyone is going to have different coping mechanisms, I guess. But for me, I find it really helpful to do something to occupy my hands, like colouring in. Yes, it may seem childish, but I find it really, really calming and also doing something to occupy my brain. Because if I just do something with my hands, I'll overthink. But if I'm just doing something with my brain, I get really like antsy. So I'm gonna listen to an audiobook while I do some coloring and eat my sandwich like a five-year-old. But whatever works, works. I'm literally in shock right now. I just got a package. I had no idea what it was, like a surprise package. Got an email that had something at the door. Went to the door, opened the package. Huh? This is the new Kindle Scribe. Apparently this is from DECPR. Thank you so much to the team at DEC. I'm shocked. Like I feel like like, I did not know this was coming. My manager must have given them my address. I honestly haven't even looked into the new Kindle. Oh, I'm freaking out. But I'm pretty sure this is the one where you can annotate it with a pen. So, like, annotate your books on Kindle. Guys, I am freaking out. This is the best PR I've ever received. I feel very undeserving of this. Like, this is giving major imposter syndrome. This is huge. I just have no idea. I'm just like in shock. It's a little bit later. I just got ready, but I realized I haven't shown you guys my advent calendar, my new advent calendar. Ta-da! Liam gave this to me this morning. There are 12 days till Christmas and he's wrapped up 12 books. And so I get to open a book a day until Christmas, which is so freaking exciting. All of the books are from my Amazon wish list. So yes, he did have a bit of help, but it's still a surprise to me because I have a lot of books on my wish list. But today's day one, so. Let's open it. 
So for day one, we have Poster Girl by Veronica Roth. I'm so excited about this. This is a new release. It's a YA dystopian, same author as Divergent. So very, very intrigued. Good morning, sweet friends. Today, we are going to have a very productive day. We kind of have to, if I'm being honest. It's one of those days where it's like, I like I literally need to have a productive day. Like I need to tick off the things on my to-do list for today. I'm sure a lot of other industries are the same, but basically in the social media world, a lot of the businesses or like companies that I work with when I do sponsorships or any sort of paid work, most of them close over Christmas and New Year's and just like the last few weeks of December. First First few weeks of January, which is not a problem. It just means that I need to make sure that I get my work done before everyone else goes on holidays. So I have a to-do list today. I'm going to make sure I smash it out because I've got kind of like a busy rest of the week. So if all goes to plan, I would love to get like pretty much the rest of my brand work done today. There's not... Like they, there's lots of little things to do. I feel like the start of this week, I've been working on like bigger projects, kind of like working on one or two things each day that are just more time consuming. And today is kind of like taking off those quicker tasks, but just making sure that I've got all of them done. It's just a bit more of like a scatterbrain day because you're focusing on so many different things and I'm not very good at that, so. We've got a list, we're gonna have a good day. I think because today is one of those days where I just had to like hop into, well, I didn't have to, where I did just hop into work pretty early. Totally forgot to have breakfast, so I'm gonna do that now. I feel like breakfast is one of those things that I don't usually put a lot of time or effort in. It's kind of just like I have breakfast because I need to, so it's usually like a smoothie, maybe some toast, maybe some oats. But today I kind of feel like doing something different, so I want to try this my protein pancake mix. I was just looking at the back and literally all you have to do is add milk or water. I thought you'd have to add like eggs or like something else but it's so easy. To make a batch of protein packed pancakes, add two scoops to 100 or 150 mils of milk or water and mix until smooth. That is so easy. This is also cinnamon and sugar flavor. I'll have it linked down below if you guys wanna try it. And as always, I have a code with my protein. It is Rachel C and that will give you a really great discount. But this is kind of like a first impressions. I'm so intrigued. Also, if you can hear the dishwasher, I'm so sorry. I can smell the cinnamon, it smells so good. so satisfying. <laughs> but now for the most important part, I'm gonna eat it like a cake. That is good. I feel like you can definitely taste the cinnamon, which is amazing. And the Nutella was a fantastic choice. I'm gonna continue eating this now and then we'll get back to work. I'm just packing my lunch. I'm gonna go hang out with my mom for a little bit, have lunch with her, get us some coffee, my normal Wednesday. But today, I'm also giving her her advent calendar, which I know it doesn't look very exciting in a Coles bag, but we make advent calendars for each other every year. And this is hers for this year. This year I did like a seven days of Christmas thing and I think she did the same. But here are the gifts that she has. So we have number one, and I also put the date for her to open it as well. And on these little cards, I wrote little poems. <laughs> <laughs> so cheesy, but she did that for me. I don't know if she did it once or if she's done it a few times, but it's always like so funny because they're such bad poems, but it's just cute. So we have number one. This one is number two. It just doesn't fit in the box. Number three, number four, five, six, and seven. It's just such a fun little tradition that we do. Hopefully she likes her gifts this year. I also cannot believe how close we are to Christmas. I feel like December has gone so fast and I haven't done all of the Christmassy things that I wanted to do yet. I haven't gone and looked at Christmas lights and I also haven't made Christmas cookies. Well, I kind of did, but like I kind of want to have a Christmas night where I make Christmas cookies and watch Christmas movies and just be very festive and I haven't done that yet. I guess we still have a week and a half, but time is going too fast. George is getting my McDonald's. I think order. you get a medium. I'm not giving anything away. Okay. I'll tell you at the end. A medium 10 piece nugget meal with a Coke, no sugar. With sweet and sour sauce, obviously. And I never know Coke. I get a large. <gasps> I knew it was large. But yeah, a large 10 piece nugget meal with Coke, no sugar, sweet and sour sauce. 
And no, no, it's like. <laughs> nice. I always leave your game on play. Oh, absolutely. We'll pop it in the freezer when we get home. Yeah, we will. Mm, the lighting is so good. So we had a beach day today. And I did not like a single thing. <laughs> that was some really good singing. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> oh, wow. We. And now I'm in a sleepover. <gasps> you got this. Coat no sugar as well, please. Okay. You're driving them through here. Thank you. Amazing. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning guys. Happy Saturday. I am literally just about to head out. It's 8.30 a.m. and I'm about to leave for a lunch. Ah. It's just a very long drive away, so I'm making an early start. No, to be fair, I'm driving to Surf's place. And then George and I and Soph are driving together from her place. Because it's a long drive, we kind of wanted to do it together. So that'll be a lot more fun than doing it by myself. But this is my outfit. I am in love with it. I need to fix up the little pleats. There's supposed to be some kind of like creases in the little bodice kind of area. But it is this beautiful little baby blue mini dress from Beginning Boutique. I showed you guys me unboxing it earlier this week. I'm just wearing it with my little platform slides from... Spend less shoes, I think. And I've just got my little white crossbody bag from Peter and James. So this is the fit. I love it so much. Hello, my sweet friends. Happy Sunday. I am in the best mood because I have spent all day today, pretty much all day, prepping for a little girls' mess, friends' mess thing. I am hosting tonight and it makes my to do all of this stuff. I also took some clips of me setting some of this stuff up and doing some of the baking, cooking and stuff. So I might include that now. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Ooh. I'm making plans. What we're gonna do I feel so blessed That I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk And we can follow the moonlight Till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want but as you guys saw, we have the table settings. I went for like a white and green theme just because I think it's more my vibe personally than the red, but obviously you do you. And of course, I'll light the candles when the girls start arriving. There's just four of us, so it's very low key, very chill. I'll also turn on the Christmas tree, of course. And then this is the table that I'm going to put like all of our food on, like all the main dishes. And I've also pulled out some of the things for the cheese board. It's going to be a really simple cheese board this time because we have so much food. So I don't want us to fill up before we even get to the main meals we also have these napkins these are from pillow talk the little trees are from ikea the candlestick holders are from big w and the actual candlesticks are actually from woolworths if you're wondering where any of this is from we have tablecloth from kmart cutlery from big w placemats from pillow talk target 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 uh i can't remember kmart Kmart, Ikea. I also made some more little citruses so that we can have some little mocktails and cocktails. These are my cocktail glasses. I haven't even used them yet, so I'm so excited to use them. I'm doing a dessert charcuterie board, so this is some of the stuff kind of just out 
and ready the things that don't need to be in the fridge. I wrote myself a to-do list that has the times that I need to do things. So I'm actually just about to start prepping the ham because that needs an hour and a half to cook and it's almost 3.30. The girl's getting here at five. I've also just finished prepping the roast pumpkin, which I'll put in a little bit later. And then the fridge is full of stuff right now. We have the ham that I haven't even really started, the potato salad, we have a dressing, some more dressing, Rocky Road, a different dressing, just stuff everywhere, honestly. It's a bit messy. I also made one of those Nutella puff pastry things, which I'm gonna have for dessert. And I also remembered to get myself ready, which is a big win. Sometimes I forget about that part. My dress is from Petal and Pop, if you're wondering. This is actually the dress I wore to my bridal shower like two years ago, and I still love it. But I'm gonna get this ham prepped and ready. I've never made a ham or like cooked a ham or glazed a ham, done anything to a ham in my life. So let's hope it works out. Morning friends, it is now Monday. Our little friends mess, girls mess went so well. I feel like all the food turned out really well. I think everyone enjoyed themselves and it was just like such a wholesome, lovely night. So very happy with how that went. And I just love feeding people. I like cooking for people. I like baking for people. I'm definitely not like an amazing cook, but it's something that I really enjoy doing. And hopefully as the years go on, I'll become like better and better. And by the time I'm like 40 or 50, I'll be a really good cook. That's the plan. That's the dream. Hopefully we'll get there. But I'm just here to end off the vlog, but also to, I don't know if announcement is the right word, but give you guys a little update and just let you know that I'm pretty sure this vlog will be my last vlog of the year, which obviously we're like right at the end of December, so it's not that crazy, but I also will probably take the first few weeks off in January as well. It's nothing dramatic at all. I am just planning to take a bit of time off social media. I think I've got one more book video coming in a few days time and then that will be my last video for a few weeks but yeah i should be back sometime in january but i think for a long time i kind of convinced myself that i shouldn't take breaks because i'm doing my dream job and like so many people dream of doing the job that i do and so like how dare i think i need a break or need a holiday when i'm doing my dream job but that is a very unhealthy and unsustainable way of thinking no matter what job you do or how much you love it i think everyone needs to take a break every now and then and I think also because this job is such a creative job I'm producing content all the time creating content all the time I've realized that you can't be creating good content 24 7 no one out there no matter what type of creative job they may have whether it's graphic design they make art they make music whatever they may do I feel like anyone out there who does a creative job or a creative hobby will tell you that you can't be creating your best work all the time like you can't always be creating and so I think I've kind of realized that I need to take a break so that I can come back better as well I feel like I just haven't been creating my best content recently and I think that well I'm hoping that if I do take a break I will just come back a lot more inspired and a lot more excited about the content that I'm creating and just I don't know, be doing a better job at my job. And I also just wanna make sure I'm resting and looking after myself as well. I think you can even see it in this vlog and like last week's vlog. I feel like I've just been a lot more anxious recently in general. And I think that is a sign to me that I am very ready for a break. So I'm gonna take a few weeks off. And again, nothing serious, nothing crazy. I don't even know what I'm gonna do during this break. I'm very intrigued to see what I'm gonna do with my time. Probably just read a lot and hang out with friends, but I just wanted to let you guys know because if there's not a vlog for the next few weeks, that's why. But I also know that December, there's so many people creating so much content. So I'm sure you have so many other vlogs, so many other videos, so much other content to consume with all the vlogmas and everything else that people have been uploading. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for such an incredible year. I, I can't wait to see you guys next year and just talk Talk about goals and kind of just dive into a new year and we can talk more about that in one of my vlogs in January but I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll see you in 2023. Goodbye.